guys, Weird Gamer 89 here, and um, this is gonna be a video that comes out the 19th of August. Uh, or I might post it early. Uh, but I have been with the obviously, as you can see, I've been with Limited Run for a year now. Limited Run Games. Uh, if you guys don't know what Limited Run Games is or are, um, they're totally based out of North Carolina, and they make digital games into physical media but they only use certain digital games that they can get permission to make into a physical release from Sony of course and if they get that permission then Sony okays it and ma uh, makes it and develops it and then they put it out at a limited quantity uh, a lot of these are not around anymore though a lot of these are actually all of these are sold out as far as I'm concerned I did just get Oceanhorn and uh, Played Road, both of the PS4, as you'll see most of this stuff is PS4 uh, related, some of it's PS, some of it's Vita, a lot of it's PS4, but I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's just look through what some of the items I have grabbed over the one year I've been with Limited Run Games. And by the way, I'd like to thank, uh, if they're watching or anything, I'd like to thank uh, Josh and uh, Doug. Uh, for providing the physical media, it's it, 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 if we if they're if they weren't around, then limited run and physical would die. Uh, we would not ever have physical media live on actually for Vita or PS4. Hopefully, they expand to Microsoft and Nintendo later on, but that's another story for another time. Let's get into some what are the pickups I got uh, from this company. That is limited run games. As you see, I got two of the boxes, one right there, one right there. And the box that I have on top here is actually holding on, and I've not opened uh, some of these. But as you can see, the Saturday morning, right there, hold on, let me see if I can do the camera. The Saturday morning RPG uh, vinyl, the blue vinyl, this came out a long time ago. Probably back uh, when I started collecting, which was August. 19th, which will be, you know, a few weeks away. Uh, that's why I'm doing this video, but I'm not open this. The plastic wants to open, but I try not to let it open. It has the postcard, the uh, sticker, which they do not do stickers anymore. They do train cards now. So this could be rare one day. But uh, the reason I haven't opened it because I have the soundtrack digitally and also have the game digitally. I did not pick it up when it came out physically. I wish I did. Uh, but I did not know about this company until August. So, and I'll just show you guys my first pickup ever from them, other than vinyl. And then there's a few soundtracks that I'll show you guys also. But yeah, this is one of them. Um, you can't really get this anymore, unless you go on eBay. But, uh, yeah, this is one of them, so let's go on to the next pickup. And the next pickup, let me make sure I set that down gently. The next pickup, uh, which I'll show this big, is of course the silver case. Uh, I'm holding it upside down. Sorry about that. Let me crack this. Uh, it's hard to do with one hand. But let me do this. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, the silver case by Suda51. I believe I said that right. Uh, they did. This is the PC version. The reason I don't have this opened, there's the postcard and the sticker. Uh, the reason I don't have this opened is because I have the PS4 version, and I wasn't keep this sealed anyway, because this was their very first PC release they ever did, which I was, I love the visual novels and stuff, so that was why I picked this up from them. Uh, very good game. I highly recommend the PS4 version. Uh, this was more for a collectible item than anything. Anyway, okay, as you guys can see, I have two boxes here. Uh, the there stand. This is their standard box. They used to ship these out. They only ship these out if you make a big order. Uh, if you don't, they use bubble mailers. But other than that, I have two of those. Now let's go on to the PS4 version. Uh, uh, for, yeah, sorry, I can't talk. PS4 versions of the games I have. Now this is from the very first game I ever bought from to the very last one I just bought. Well, that, that, that'd be Oceanhorn and Played Road, and I also forgot to mention Jotun, the uh, Valhalla edition. That'll come sometime soon also. 
Um, but let's see, we got, and this is sealed. We have Dryden Fantasy, uh, the book of uh, the Black Tome of Ice. Uh, they will be making a sequel to this sometime this year. Can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome to watch or play, I mean. Uh, and this is a special edition sealed um, and everything. And then we have uh, the first game I fell in love with when I bought it, uh, Shadow Complex. And trust me, all these games have their stickers in their postcards. I can't open a, a case with one hand, sorry. But all these games come complete and everything. And the rest of these games won't be sealed. Um, because uh, I, I want to play these uh, everything but uh, there we go Shadow Complex Remastered very good game underrated game uh, then of course we have Thomas Was Alone a very good game by Curve very good game uh, that they did uh, for the company and everything very interesting puzzle game uh, but very good at the least and then, of course, One Way Heroics, and I couldn't really get into this, I tried. Um, it was just an odd RPG for me to try to get into. I, I, I played half of it, but I could never beat it. But it was a fun game, though. Uh, so yeah, One Way Heroics, very good, underrated RPG. And then, we have Stealth Incorporated, and I did beat this. Ultimate Edition, of course. And, uh, very good, uh, game, very underrated as well. And, uh, yeah, it's a very nice game. Uh, very underrated. All these games are underrated because they're, they're digital, they were digital only. Next is Option Free, which I totally forget where the name is on this one. Oh, uh, there it is, Option Free. Sorry about the light. Option Free, there we go. And this was a good game. It was kind of a take on, uh, I just used to say it was like a choose your own path kind of game. That was pretty neat about it. Very underrated. Well, I'm just stop saying underrated because all these games are underrated. Uh, the Swapper. Very good game. I got this at the very last minute too. Uh, they just sold out as soon as I got my copy. But yeah, the Swapper. They would go with better lighting to see it. They were good though. The Swapper. Yeah, very good game. Uh, interesting puzzles in that one. I'm going to start making a second stack here. Uh, the lone, lone Survivor. I had this digitally, but I want it physically. And that's the good thing about this company. If you want something physical, just wait a few months or year. It doesn't take them long to, you know, other people to want this stuff too. So uh, if you're patient, uh, good things will happen. Um, and uh, yeah, this is one of these. This is one of the best uh, horror games. Uh, the guy who made it. Did a phenomenal job on it and everything, but yeah, Lone Survivor. Check that. I'm just that right there. I'll show the next one here. Aqua Kitty DX, uh, very underrated shoot uh, shoot 'em up. Uh, very good game though. I uh, did not beat it. It came close. I got stuck on the last level. Other than that though, a very good game. I highly recommend it if you can find a cheap copy, which is. You know, it, it, it is not that bad to find on eBay. Uh, Curses and Chaos, very good game also for the PS4. Um, I highly recommend this one. Kind of a, let's see how long it can last, survival game with each level. And, I mean, you really, there's, I don't think there's any way of beating it really. I could beat the whole first stage, but after that, just that chaos, it really lived up to its name there. Okay, this is the first Shantae game. From them, uh, or the second one, I can't remember which order they sold these in. But Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, very good game, uh, very 2D platformer. I love 2D platformers, I grew up on that. Uh, that's awesome. I highly recommend if you can find it cheap, uh, which is not easy to do with these Shantae games, but I, uh, this one was awesome. I loved it. Uh, of course, we got the next one here Shantae Rishi's Revenge. A uh, very good game also. The, these did come with variant covers, but I, I just kept the first cover that I saw. Uh, Rissy's Revenge. Very good game. Underrated, of course. Good, same as the first one, 2D platformer. Uh, Dear Esther, this was an interesting game. <laughs> I mean, I know people say walking simulator for it, but... Uh, no, I mean, if you really concentrate on what you're doing, 
Yeah, it, it, you just walk, but if you, like, look around more, and just walk, um, then it really, uh, it really becomes easier to play. I don't know what I'm saying there, but anyway, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Uh, The Swindle, a very good game. Uh, The Swindle was an actually very interesting game, a strategic kind of, uh, let's see how good you are being a thief uh, type game, uh, which is what I liked about it, and I have not beat it. I halfway through it. I need to beat it. Uh, I, I just have so much to work on right now. And this one that caught my eye, Broken Age, um, by Double Fine, which was their first game ever done. Uh, this is the first game they've ever done by Double Fine. Other than that, they have not done any other games. People wish they would do Full Throttle and Grand Fandango and Day of the Tentacle, but uh, those are owned by Disney, so... Disney obviously uh, will not let them do that, but Broken Age was just owned strictly from... Um, Broken Age was strictly owned by Double Fine themselves. And let's see, we'll go to this one. Fury, the Definitive Edition, which does have the DLC with it, which was neat. Um, of course, Fury is an interesting game, top-down boss uh, rush mode uh, style. I highly recommend it if you like that kind of style of game. The graphics are look amazing. They're like self-shaded 2D. It's really neat to see and everything. I highly recommend if you like those type of graphics. I know this stack is getting kind of tall, but my other stack is too big right now to put any more over there. Uh, Bard's Gold. A nice throwback to the old 16-bit dungeon crawlers. Um, well, 2D dungeon crawlers. But 16 bit graphics. Uh, interesting enough, I have not played too much of this yet. But what I played, uh, what I did play of it, it, it seems pretty challenging. Like some be a challenge game. Which they love to put those out uh, for some reason. But that's uh, awesome. You know, anyway, I, I don't just buy from this company because I want to play the games. I buy to support them. Uh, and then this one is in my system right now, which is Rive. Uh, sorry about covering up the PS4. This is in my system right now. Arrive. I'm almost done with this, I think. I'm like on mission 8 or 9. Uh, but this is a fun game. Very challenging. A good shoot 'em up though. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very good game in a way. Okay, that's it for those. Now we'll go on to... Well, there's some stickers. This is for Vita versions of games. So you got the Dragon Fancy stickers and a few other stickers for the Vita games. Now all my Vita games are sealed from them. So I'll start with the first one I picked up, which was Dragon Fantasy. Uh, and that that was a good game. Uh, I beat I beat this game digitally, which is why I have both sealed. And um I didn't platinum it, I could have. I only have three more trophies left to platinum in this game. Which I might just go ahead and get over with and platinum it. And of course this one, uh, which is Stealth Incorporated, the Ultimate Edition on Vita. And um, on Vita, the, I, I, I don't own a Vita, I hate to say that, but I don't. But the reason I bought these is because I thought, well maybe if I ever get a Vita, I might want to play something good on it. And that's what these games are for. <laughs> Uh, Lone Survivor is a good game, of course. Same as the PS4 version, but graphics might change a little bit because it's uh, Vita. Uh, other than that, though, good game. Underrated, of course. The Vita versions are all underrated. Uh, okay, these next are CDs I bought. Soundtracks I bought for games. Sealed. All these are sealed, which is why light's coming off them. Uh, the Dryden Fantasy official soundtrack. Sealed. Very good soundtrack. I have the I have it digitally. I have all these digitally, by the way. Um, South Incorporated, of course. Good soundtrack. I love the uh, the sixteen bit sounding. Actually, the I guess you call that no sounding music to it. And then of course, Lone Survivor soundtrack. Some eerie soundtrack. Uh, very weird. <laughs> Lives up to its name, uh, though. Uh, of course, Thomas was alone. Very nice soundtrack. Uh, kind of a uh, bebop, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what you'd call that, really. Um, and then this is, I believe, the first Shantae. 
soundtrack from the uh, Game Boy Color, which I did not own because that game's way too much right now. I probably get when it's get, when it gets cheaper. Other than that, though, that's the only Shantae I'm missing uh, from my Shantae collection. And then, of course, Risky's Revenge CD. These are all sealed. I'll just say that one more time. Risky's Revenge. Uh, these are all sealed, of course. Because um, I had them digitally, so I kept them sealed. And, uh, of course, you got uh, Pirate's Curse right here. Um, and, the, and the new one, which was uh, Half Genie Hero, did come with a soundtrack, and I kept that sealed. Because they gave me a digital voucher. Um, other than that, though... This has been my limited run collection uh, for a year. Uh, I know I missed some games. Uh, that's because I didn't really have any interest in them. And those games would be Mute Muds. The two games for that. I just didn't have any interest in that uh, for some reason. I mean, Zoo Drifter also, but that's because I missed that. Because, I, yeah, I, you know, I started in August. And that came out like in June or July of last year. Uh, so I missed that one. And there's a few others I missed, and some of them I missed on purpose. Um, I was going to pick up Nero Voider in Drive, Drive, Drive uh, last week or the week before, but it just didn't happen. Uh, and then um, the future ones that are coming out that I'm interested in are, of course, Wonder Boy. I cannot wait to pick that up. And then, of course, uh, and actually, do y'all <laughs> looking at something? There we go. Um... Wonder Boy, of course, uh, which is coming out uh, next week, or, um, uh, yeah, next week, anyway, um, I can't wait for that one, and, um, uh, of course, Night Trap and the Bunker, that's gonna be awesome, and, uh, let's see, what else, oh, yeah, Yeez or Wise Origin, however you say it, want to say it, either way's fine, um, but anyway, yes, that's been my whole year with Limited Run. Um, I've been with them for a year now, uh, August 19th, really. I'll probably upload this video before that date. But August 19th is the uh, my one-year anniversary with them. And I, I'm proud with it. And I, like I said, none of this would be possible, so I'm going to thank them again. Thank you, Josh uh, D and Doug, uh, for making this awesome company and doing this doing this awesome thing I know you have competitors out there but you guys do it the best and uh, that's just if you are watching but if you are that's fine uh, but also I want to thank all my viewers that are watching this uh, anybody that views this I want to thank them and I want to thank anybody that has never seen my channel before uh, thanks for clicking on it, or, you know, finding it and clicking on a video of mine. Uh, please just leave a like or subscribe and a comment. Um, and that's all I ask. Uh, well, that's it. I'm Weird Gamer 9 and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.